Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and welcome to yet another Chess Engine tutorial. We're going to be picking up uh, where we left off last time with the algorithm that came up with all the places that sliding pieces could move at simultaneously and I've implemented the code into Java already. Uh, but before I do that, I should mention I added a couple other items. One is a static long called occupied, which our method will need. This will contain all the, bit, all the bits that are occupied by either black or white. And then I also added two more arrays, which we'll be uh, looking up. Uh, one of them is diagonal mask, and the other is antidiagonal mask, which is pretty much just the diagonal but in the other direction. And these uh, will all correspond in order, uh, as you can read from the comments. This one from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. All of those diagonals in that order. All right, so let's go into the implementation of these methods. Uh, hopefully, if you've seen the last tutorial, this should all make sense. First, we take an integer s. This would be, for instance, the 15th spot. Uh, the 15th spot would be represented, this is the 0th spot, the 8th spot, uh, 16th spot. So this is the 15th spot right here, the pawn. So we take in just a, a location, then we turn that into a binary uh, uh, bit board by this statement, represented as binary s. And then we come up with possibilities for the horizontal and for the vertical, of course applying a file mask where appropriate and then we return the entire uh, solution of the horizontal and vertical combined. And then I created another method called uh, D and anti-D. D stands for diagonal. And it's basically the same thing except we add diagonal masks and anti-diagonal masks throughout it to get up with that really long, complicated looking uh, piece of code that we've discussed in the previous tutorial. Uh, but we want to test if these actually work. So let's go here to the board generation, and I will add a bishop, or let's put a queen right here. Uh, we'll put a little blocking spot here, a pawn. Right now it's not differentiating between uh, white pieces and non-white pieces, so in our methods we'll have to add an and not white to avoid capturing its own pieces. Let's also add a pawn right here. All right, that should be good enough for now. The queen has a few places it should stop. Now let's just manually figure out what location queen is at. Uh, it's at 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36th spot on the board from the top left-hand corner, starting at 0. So. If in our possible moves white, we add this little method called h and v moves at, I believe I had said 36. Hopefully that works. And then in h and v moves, if we actually print out what our bitboard is going to look like by calling out our draw bitboards, and then we will copy this entire uh, return value into there Whoops. instead of binary s. Now, we will try that out. I will run the code and we'll see what happens here. All right, it runs and here is what we get. Yes, we get every uh, p represents a place that the piece could move. Notice we're starting at the correct uh, location, it looks like. Uh, fourth from the bottom. Yeah. And fourth in the other direction. Good. So it can go all the way to the right, almost all the way to the left. Notice it stops one short because it collides with our pawn here. Also going uh, vertically, it can go one short of the top and bottom, since that is where it first collides with a piece. And it excludes its current location. This is perfect. Uh, let's do the same thing. I'll delete this draw board and create a, oops, 
a draw board for uh, the next one here for the diagonals and we will see if we got our diagonals working here. So when you write out this code or download the code, you can uh, verify this. All right, when we run our diagonals, whoops, one mistake I know is here. I need to change in our possible moves white, which is what runs, change it to diagonal. All right, run through that code and see what we get. All right, now we got diagonals. Notice it can move one to the right and upwards. That is correct, because that's when it collides with something. Should be able to move two down and over to the right. That's correct. Same with to the left. And upwards and to the right, there are three spots it can go. Which, if we check, there's one spot, two spots, three spots it can go. This is now fully implemented and working. Until next time, enjoy Java.